Okay, let's add a source to my bibliography. First, I'm going to select my project. From there, I'm going to go to the top tab for bibliography. In my bibliography, I'm going to choose a citation type. I know that I have a book. So I'm going to go ahead and create citation. As a safeguard, Noodle Tools will suggest to you some different options to make sure that what you're entering is actually a book. You might have an anthology or collection. It might have different pieces by different um, authors or the collected works of one author. You might have a reference source. If you get it from the library on the, the main floor, um, in the middle, it's probably a reference source, and that can be something um, that you would select down here just in case you didn't choose it on the previous page. Make sure that you go through the entire drop down menu when you're creating a source um, and double check what type of source you're entering. If you're not sure, check with me or check with one of the librarians. Since I know I'm entering a book, I'm going to continue to uh, the citation page. Once I'm in the citation page, I have a few different options. If I know the ISBN of my book, which can be found on the inside cover or sometimes on the back, or the inside citation page or sometimes on the back cover, I can go ahead and enter that number. When I do that and click search, oh, maybe I should enter it properly and that would help. I can choose my book here and then directly import it. This way, Noodle Tools will create the citation for me and I don't have to input the information by hand. You can always use this if you have the ISBN number of the book that you're using. I'm going to cancel and input this book manually. So first I want to input the person. I know that my book doesn't have an editor but rather an author. Definitely double check that. Go ahead and input my author's name. and the title of the book. When entering most history books, you will probably find that they have some sort of subtitle. You want to enter the complete title of the book as it appears on the citation page. I know that my book is not a reprint and it's not a set in a multi-volume. Next, I want to enter the publisher information and the city. Finally, for a book without a special edition, I'm going to enter the year. That's my complete information because I have a pretty simple book. You might also need to enter the edition number, the number, the volume number, or any type of series name um, if, if that's the type of book that you're using. At the bottom, you want to go ahead and include this source in your final Works Cited page since you are using the MLA style. Click Submit. Your book is now entered here on your main bibliography page. Since I know it's a book, I can click it here and make sure that Noodle Tools knows that it's a secondary source. This will also help me when I'm trying to make sure when I, that I have enough primary and secondary sources for my paper. That's how I create a source entry.